All right, good afternoon. We're doing a quick roof leak inspection, or so it's called a roof leak, but mm, not necessarily. All right, so pardon me, it's gonna be a little hard to hear. It's tight, we're in a low slope roof. Keep getting called to look at this roof leak. It's not a roof leak. I kind of had my suspicions about this because when you got plumbing lines, water lines, anything in an attic, you've really got to be cautious. I didn't know, but because this is a tight attic area, I can't really get in here. I'm gonna switch camera around and show you. There is a HVAC line compressed air or not compressed air but the charge line the compressed line and the return whatever they're called none of hvac there's also a little white line it's the condensation pump terribly stupid idea to run any kind of water line whether it's pressure potable a drip line condensation line does not matter if you're going to get into freezing weather conditions stupid terrible idea i'm up here going the extra mile to try to find out if this is a leak that's on us or not i don't think it is the roof looks fine been out here several times, and look, when I get crawled into this little tight attic, switch camera around. What do we have right there going out? We have a little line. What do we have right here? A little wet spot. What do we have right there? Dripping. See it dripping? It's a cracked line right here. Let me switch this around. See it right there? There's the crack. It has nothing to do with the roof. That's CDX pour, it's all dry. Nothing there. But when you have HVAC running in the hot time, and you got water up in here and it turns on and it's pushing, and when the pump stops, you have stagnant water. Well, when you have a cold winter, it expands or and it freezes, expands, and then puts a crack in it like this. So I can confidently say this is not on us. It's not a roof issue, it never was. So, what's the takeaway here? Well, you're going to learn that if you use us, we're going to go the extra mile. If there is a problem to take care of it, but this wasn't on us. The true takeaway, don't run water lines, HVAC lines, condensation lines, things that will freeze and expand. Your HVAC lines, not really an issue, but when you run a, a snake a condensation line down them to go through a cold attic in the winter, out a hole, out the overside or something, or I've seen them go into a cast iron uh, sewer drain, terrible, stupid idea. Don't do it. If you've got one like that and you ever have an issue, more than likely that's going to be the problem. It is so tight in here. It is a very low slope. There's no room to crawl. I honestly... I really don't know how I'm going to get out of here. <laughs> it's, I've got to like wiggle backwards, not bust through the ceiling. Then make a sharp 90 degree turn feet first to hit the attic access in the garage. It's tight. I really didn't want to get up here. Uh, I really don't want to come back. But now I can honestly say it's not on us. Call an HVAC guy. All right. Give it a thumbs up. I was going to try to go live, but it probably wouldn't show up like this. Holy hell, it's hot up here. I only had a, a long sleeve shirt in the truck, so I threw it on so I don't get all this nasty cellulose on me because it's disgusting, but I do this for you so you guys can learn. Hopefully you learn about that. HVAC condensation lines. Don't run them in your attic. Don't run them over to a cast iron drain, your P-vent traps. There's actually another one I did, oh, sweat all up in here, where a PVC pipe had a dip and it came back up. Water condensation settles in there. Or condensates, settles, fills up enough, and when the temperature's right, it freezes and cracks, and then water dripping down. I am like sweating profusely. All right, I gotta work my way out of here. I'll update you in the comment section if I drop a ceiling with my fat ass trying to get out of here. I'm not gonna lie. Part of me wants to panic because I can't move, but I know that's going to do no good. <laughs> this is tight. Not a fan of the side of town, this neighborhood. They're all very low slope pitch roofs. And the center of the roof is over there, so there's a little more room, but these rafters or uh, trusses, the way they're made, there's really no way to claw, crawl under or over. So I opted to scoot my chest right across the uh, bottoms of them right there. Whew. All right, I gotta get out of here. Okay, so quick update. After backing my way through very carefully, maybe some bruises, no broken drywall, and trying to stay calm and not panic, I come down here to look at this real quick and see what we can make. A simple solution to this little issue of some HVAC plumbing guys, brilliant idea to run this through the attic. 
So right down here, it's your condensation line coming from your AC. It goes in that little pump and it pumps up through this tube, it goes up up here. You can see it right back there and it goes up next to this stuff and it works its way down through the ceiling through there. Now, for the mind-blowing little kicker here. What are people thinking? Look at this. There's the pump. What do we got right here? We're in a laundry room. We have a drain right there. Oh my God. It's literally under the drain. The crap I see. Really, why? What are they thinking? Let's go buy a pump. Let's go run it through the attic. Or maybe it's an old tube, I don't know. The furnace looks new and updated. Energy Star is not that old. <laughs> what are people thinking? This is bad, this takes the cake. I mean, I'm just, I'm blown away. Okay, you realize you got condensation, you gotta deal with it, you gotta pump. You gotta pump it out somewhere. Why go through the attic? Hello, you set the thing right under a drain. I don't know what else to say. I'm annoyed. It's like 5.30, Monday. I'm done, I'm going home. Appreciate it, until next time, be safe, and we'll see you on the next video.